Hi, in this video, we will talk about properties class in Java. Okay, so this is very different from whatever we discussed till now in the collection classes or map classes, whatever it is. So it is different from all those. So and it is very important and very frequently used in your Java. Okay, so first we'll talk about that where it comes. Uh, it is a child class of hash table. Okay, so it is child class of hash table. So properties class is child class of hash table. Values which changes frequently can be managed using properties files. So here we'll have another uh, file called properties files. So in your application, in your program, some values are frequently changing. So if you, if you have that kind of requirement, then you need to use properties files instead of hard coding those values into your program. So values which changes frequently cannot be hard coded in the Java program. Each change in the source file requires recompile, rebuild, redeploy of the application, which is very costly operation, right? You will have so many files, so much of code, right? For a simple single change, you know, if you want to reflect that, you need to recompile your code. So that will take so much of time as you will have a number of files and so much of code and you have to rebuild, redeploy for that, right? So because of that, if the value is frequently changing, then manage those values as a separate from your Java program, Java code, okay? So for that, we'll use properties files. We'll put these values inside the properties files. So example, your database username, database password, some application URL, right? So you have database username, you hard coded in your program, right? So because of some reasons, so every 15 days, every one month, every 45 days, you need to change your password or username, something like that. So if you keep changing for uh, one month or one and a half month, so if you go and you know, change this value in your program, okay? So for that, you need to recompile, rebuild, redeploy, you need to do so many other activities, right? So instead of that, if you manage these things from outside of your code and you read from there, if you just, so whatever it is, it just read from the value from the other file. So whatever it is, it will take from there. For that, we don't need any, all these operations, right? No need to recompile, rebuild, redeploy, all this. We don't need, right? Because of that, uh, very frequently changes values. You need to manage with the properties files. To read those properties files, we'll use properties class, okay? So to avoid these things, need to configure these properties in properties file. And properties object can be used to hold the properties which are coming from the properties file. So we read the properties values from the properties file. Those can be hold by this properties object. Properties file can be used to represent a group of key value pairs where both key and values are of string type. In the properties file, whatever you mention, both key and values considered as strings only. Okay, whatever it is, it will be considered as string. Okay. So that is all about properties class. What are the constructors? We have only one constructor that is basic constructor. Properties, properties equals to new properties. But you have different type of methods here. So string get property, get property, and you need to mention property name. So string property name. So it will return, obviously, key value both are means property name and property value both are string right if you if you get that value obviously you'll get the string only return type so returns value associated with the specified property okay and another one is set property so in the properties file you can write your own properties with the help of java code means your own uh, you can directly write in the properties file otherwise you can set your with your program so string set property so one property means you will have a property name and property value, right? It, it set the new property in the properties file and returns the old value if the property already available. So if the property is already available, so it set the new property in the properties file and returns the old value if the property already available. Otherwise it will set the new value. Returns null if the specified property not available, okay? So 
enumeration property names it it will return all the property names not values only property names so void load for this we need to give input string so to load properties from properties file to java properties object right we have a separate file so if you want to read separate files we need to use input streams right file input stream all these things so you need to read those uh, data using file input stream that object you need to pass to the uh, this load method of properties class so why to store this is reverse so you need to if you want to store to store properties from java properties object to properties file so for the set property we need to use store for to get the property we need to load so here output stream you, you, you are uh, writing back to the file so output stream and you can put some comment okay these are all the methods available in properties class so if you take like this so typically the properties file looks like this okay so property name and property value here it is the file name is you can give whatever it is i have given data dot properties so dot properties this is file name okay so data dot properties file and here you have property name and you have property value okay username is equals to krishna password is equal to password url is equal to some url or some browser i want to read chrome so my browser may change frequently sometimes i want to use chrome some i want to, i want to firefox sometime i want to use safari right so don't hard code this one because of that i am reading from the properties file my port might change frequently one time 8080 0808 8881 something like that so because of that don't hard code these values put in properties file read from here if you want to read all these values from properties file to your java properties class object this is so then you need to use load method then this entire data will be loaded to this object okay and the same way if you if you want to store some values set some values from your object to this file then you need to use store method okay so this is what uh, the behavior okay so by taking one example we'll see so let me clear this so let me go to visual studio code so here i created one class called properties demo and i have one properties file called data dot properties you see that i created data dot properties username is equal to krishna password is equal to password on to three browser is equals to chrome port is equal to 8080 your is equals to this one okay so uh now we need to create one properties class object properties p is equals to new properties okay but i need to read the data from the properties file right so for that i'll use file input stream fis is equals to new file input stream and you need to pass the path of your file and it will throw exception right throws exception and if you want to use file input stream you need to import java dot io dot star package right so i need to provide the path of my file now here my properties file my java file both are in same location so then i can directly give file name data dot properties if it is somewhere location you need to give that location okay location of the file now you need to get the values from properties file to your properties object for that what we need to use p dot load method p dot load of file input string then this object will hold all the values from the data dot properties now whatever value you whatever value you need you can get that with the help of property name right so first we'll try to print this one system dot out dot print 
ln of p. Okay, so print ln of p. Now go back, go to your command prompt. So here, so what I'll do? First I'll uh, execute. Okay, Java properties demo dot Java. You see that password is called password one two three. Port is called eight zero eight zero. Browser is called to Chrome. URL is called this one. And username is called Krishna. Insertion order we cannot predict, right? So this is how it is giving me, right? Let me copy this and just uh, paste here. Okay. Now I want to read only specific value. I want to read only specific value. So that time what I'll do? String property is equals to p dot get property method and you need to mention what username means property name then system dot of dot print ln i'll print the property all right obviously what it will do will verify so here what i'll do first i'll compile okay first i'll compile and i'll execute so Java C properties demo dot Java properties demo dot and compile. Okay, so I'll run Java properties demo. You see that I got Krishna, right? Now I go to this one and I'll change the username to Sakinala some other name i changed this so if i if i run this one i'll not compile now i will not compile now i'll just run this one now you see that i'm getting the new value second so but if it is same thing if i change here uh, let me do this one string user username is equals to Krishna system dot of dot print ln username. Okay, just like that. So I have written something I need to compile. So I compiled. I will run. Okay, I got Krishna here. Right. So I changed here. Okay, I changed here to Kumar. So if I try to execute now, just execute, not compiling. You see, still I'm getting Krishna. The reason is, if you change something here, you need to compile again. Then only it will reflect. So I compiled again. If I run now, now I'll get the Kumar. You see that? That is the difference. If it is simple program, it takes it compiles simply. But in real time, you'll have a so much of course, so many files. So to compile that entire project, it will take so many hours sometimes. So because of that, so manage your values from here, then no need to read without compiling you executed right now. Right? That is the advantage when you read from other file. Okay. So this is how I'll get the property with the property name. If you want to set something, okay, p dot set property. Okay, set property. I'll put language property name, property value Java. Okay, just one random values I'm giving. So for that, I need foil output string. So I'm writing outside, right? OFOS is equals to new file output string. And you need to mention the file path. The same thing, data dot properties. Okay, data dot properties and p dot store. If you want to read, load method. If you want to write, store method. In the store, you need to provide this file output sim object and you need to give some comments. You can give, you can simply leave that button. Adding new value called lang 
page to the properties file. Data dot properties file you can give. Okay, that's it. Now Java properties demo dot Java. I'm directly executing this. Okay, so now you observe here. There is no comment, nothing here. I do not have language is equals to Java. Now I'm writing to this file from the Java code. So let me execute this. Sorry, demoted Java. Now, if you go to data dot properties, you see that it added language is equals to Java adding new value called language to the data dot properties file on which date okay friday march 11th 2022 right so and the order is also changed but we don't know how it will be so it uh, read the data and it is dumping into the data dot properties so its own logic insert insertion order right so that's how you can uh, load some store some values to your properties file right you need to if you want to read you need to file input stream f is equal new file input stream of that path of the file and p dot load of file input stream object then you can use p dot get property of property name you can set using p dot set property and you need to store that values okay so this is all about properties class in very very important right so this is all about properties class okay so what could be the possible inter equations from here so what is properties class in java what are the different constructors available in properties what are the methods available in properties class okay so that's all in this video thank you